Good morning, friends. It's your boy Caleb. Welcome back to my channel. It is 9:30 in the morning on a Monday. I just got out of my student's final exam, which started at 8 a.m., which means that I had to wake up at 6 in the morning. But that's fine. It's totally cool. I actually got enough sleep. This past weekend was my birthday on Saturday, but I was a responsible little cretin this time. And I stayed home and wrote a bunch of papers. I managed to finish one early and submit it last night, well before my bedtime and well before the deadline. So it's been super chill. I have not caffeinated myself today and I'm hoping to get through the rest of my tasks and errands of the day without having to ingest any coffee just to maintain the homeostasis of my body, especially after I was quite sick for two days last week. Came down with some kind of a stomach bug and I wasn't able to keep down anything for the longest time ever and it was getting really annoying and miserable. But now as you can see, I'm back, I'm energetic, I'm doing well and I'm alone here in my office to take a breather to study a little bit more for my Portuguese final exam which is in about one hour. But before that, I just want to show you guys the other present for my best friend Janice, which she promised um, would arrive last week. I hadn't been able to pick it up, um, but I'm back on campus now. So we are going to unbox this, or rather I'm going to just rip it open and see my reaction to it live. I have no idea what it is. I feel some kind of bubble wrap. It also says here that it's coming from Box Lunch. <laughs> Janice tried to give me some clues, but not enough clues last time I talked to her on the phone. And I'm like, uh, what is this? And she was like, you're too smart. You're going to figure it out. I'm forever stunned by everything and anything she sends me. So I'm not even going to hazard a guess anymore. So we're going to rip this open with a key. And look at that. This is a really, really beautiful ivory toned elephant keychain that my sister sent me a while back and she has a matching one and I just think it's a really touching token of our siblinghood and our long distance family relationship which has lasted 20 years. So I just ripped it open, I'm looking inside, got a bunch of receipts here for me, Casey. Oh, there's a 25% off coupon your, off your entire purchase. That's cool. Oh, there's so much paperwork. Go green, guys. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh my god, it makes so much sense now. Because Janice was like, well, it's sort of related, but not exactly the same as something that you were kind of requesting from me. If you remember it and I say anything else, you're going to figure it out. Oh my god, I can't even tell you why I started laughing. Right through the bubble wrap, I could see it's some kind of rainbow pin that says, gayer than ever. Oh my god. Can I just insert my finger and get it out? And other things that Casey said, 2019. I have no idea how to get this out. Oh my god. Oh, neat. It's a bubble wrap envelope. Sorry, I just keep going on about packaging in these kinds of videos, but that is genuinely really, really neat. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Gayer than ever. So I had no idea what kind of company Box Lunch was before this. I had heard the name before. I knew it was some kind of variety online store, but when I actually saw the name on the package, I was thinking Box Lunch, and the only thought that got triggered in my semester and adult brain was something that had to do with lunch boxes. And I was like, but it's really small and flat, and I feel the squishy bubble wrap. I'm gonna try this on right now. This is so beautiful. It's really high quality as well. They call it an enamel pin. It's got some weight to it. So I'm just gonna stick it through the neck of my turtleneck since that's the easiest part of my outfit right now that I can access. And look at that! I'm gonna be wearing this the entirety of the rest of the video. Thank you so much Janice! 
Honestly, this is legit the first pride item I have ever gotten from anybody ever. So this is kind of special to me. I know I was emotional about the headphones that you sent me, but this one just fills me with so much joy. I feel like I could explode right now. Especially since I've been thinking really hard lately about my place in the LGBTQ plus community and what I'm doing, what I can do versus what I can't do, um, being mostly in the closet, but at the same time really wanting to show my support for my fellow members of the community. And you know what? This is just like a really perfect, not so subtle, but really classy way to state my support of my fellow members. And I think I'm generally going to pin this either to one of my bags or my jackets or my outfit when I feel like it and I'm teaching or just going about my day on campus. Thank you so much. This really means a lot to me. And what really pleases me about this particular item is that because of the high quality, I feel like it's going to last me. A lifetime. And speaking of pride items, this is a trans pride flag that I bought for my own office a couple weeks back and I'm just looking around for a mug to stick it in along with my pens. And now I have two pride items. I'm a happy boy right now. So other life updates. You guys will recall if you've been watching my previous vlogs, that day that I bought a bunch of stuff from a local variety store. A lot of it is in this bag and it's going to be divided up into packages for different friends. So I'm going to be using some of my spare time today to finally fill out the rest of the Christmas and birthday cards, put these into the priority mailboxes, and then ship them off on my way home. Before I go to my Portuguese final, I'm going to have to drop off another paper at a professor's office. A quick word of positivity and good vibes. I just wanted to share how pleased I do feel about my time management this semester. Last year being my first year in the PhD program was a bit difficult in terms of the adjustment to the level of difficulty in the classes, the volume of readings, and the amount of pages that I had to write, plus the fact that uh, I had just moved to a new area, I didn't know anybody, and I was going through some personal issues that had to do either with anxiety and depression and or deciding when and where and how and to whom to come out as trans. And so those were the things that I was dealing with last year, which often took a toll on my mental health as well as my uh, academic performance in some areas. So this semester, which is my second year, I decided to do myself a favor, practice some good responsible self-care, and not only take a break by taking one less course this semester, but also to discipline myself into starting work early, staying at least 3-4 days ahead of my homework deadlines so as not to pile more anxiety on myself and to leave room for the worst case scenarios when I would get sick. And true enough, this technique really helped because the one time that I did fall ill and I was out of commission for two days, there was no additional stress of racing to finish procrastinated homework. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I decided to spend my birthday weekend um, writing papers and being productive, academically speaking, at the end of the semester with the foresight that it would reduce my anxiety so much at the end of the semester. End of the semester is a very difficult time for anybody, whether it's teachers, professors, students, anybody, whether you're a full-time student, a working student, somebody going back to school, it's always difficult, plus the holidays come around and that often brings up emotional memories for many people. Power to you who are all surviving the semester and the end of the year in general. It's Tuesday, my last day on campus here. I just finished administering a makeup final to my students. I'm just popping in this clip as a brief update of what I'm doing today. I'm headed to the post office to drop off a couple of packages of things that I've sold and I'm also taking the opportunity to mail out some holiday cards, some messages. Unfortunately, because of unforeseen circumstances, um, I didn't have the means to send all of the packages and gifts that I had saved up over the semester, but I will be making up for it with pretty lengthy and sweet messages in these cards just to warm the hearts of their recipients hopefully during this holiday season. I sincerely hope and pray that whoever's watching this that you can stay happy, stay safe, stay loved, love yourself, find something about yourself that you're really proud of, that you did or developed this year, and look forward to the new year not by setting unrealistic New Year's resolutions, but rather by looking back at 
the things that you did, said, made, developed um, in yourself that made you proud in this past year and just resolving to continue that into your life for some good balanced self-care. That's all for now. I will see you in the next video in which I will tell you a little bit about how I did actually end up celebrating my birthday at the end of this week. Until then, I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. Ciao!